Hello, everybody. Andrea here. So I am the owner of Dental L Tutoring. So I teach dental hygiene and dental assisting students pass the board exam. But what I'd like to talk about as well is what is it like being a dental hygiene student and being in school? I have some advice and some tips for you. This is from somebody who took the dental hygiene program twice. The first time I took it, I was almost done. I was weeks away from graduating and then my school went bankrupt. Literally, the doors closed. We were all out of time, out of money. We had to take the program again. I do go through the whole story in another video of mine in my YouTube channel. So have a look at that where I talk about, I went to dental hygiene school twice. So there's a big story behind it, but I really want to help dental hygienists in school. So here's some advice for you. The program is very, very difficult. I cried nearly every day, whether it be because I just had so much to study for, I felt overwhelmed. There's projects, there's tests, there's homework. I had to work as well. So I did have to maintain a job in order to pay for where I was staying and pay for my school. So that makes it even harder where a lot of students are lucky enough. They don't have to work. They can go home. They can nap. They can study and it does make things a little bit easier, but you might not have that luxury. Some tips for you. So hang in there. Just remember it's not forever and you're working towards the bigger goal. If other people can do it, you can do it too. That truly helped me survive dental hygiene school. Honestly, that helped me survive. I just kept remembering that if other people can do it, I can do it too. And it's not forever. I had instructors who were very, weren't very nice instructors. In clinic, they made things so much harder for me. In classes, they made things impossible. You would study and then nothing would be on the test what you, you studied. It was kind of like they picked these questions from nowhere. And we all know if we don't pass those classes, we get kicked out we have to main, maintain a certain average to pass. So let me give you guys some advice on tests and exams. You have to find out what works for you. Some students are okay to study the night before and they get 80%, they do amazing. I was not one of those students. I had to really manage my time where if I knew a test was coming up a week later, I had to start studying every day for a week a couple hours every day per topic. Sometimes you'll have four exams next week, four tests, whatever, next week. Really manage your time. You might be studying one hour on the bus for radiography. And then over your lunch hour, while you're eating food, you are studying one hour of pharmacology. When you get home, you have to work that evening. So you can only study two hours when you get home. You'll be studying prevention. So really manage your time properly and use up that time. So if you're on the bus, study. If you're on your lunch break, study. But also take, take breaks too. Your body can only handle so much. I probably shouldn't say this to you guys, but if you need a day off, take a day off. Call in sick, okay, you guys? Sometimes we need to do that. You can't do it for clinic. You need to get those certain clinical hours in. There are, of course, certain days where you can't call in sick. You have to be there. But try to manage your time that way. Or maybe take the morning off because you're sick and then you feel better in the afternoon. I know I shouldn't be saying these things, but it's true. Listen to your body. If you try to push yourself, if you wake up at 2 a.m. to study for that test, you're going to be too tired, you're going to get burnt out, and you're not going to learn anything. So really manage your time. But take breaks. Maybe you've been working so hard all week. On Saturday, call in sick or work. Don't go to work. Go shopping instead and spend too much money. Okay? Sometimes you need that break. That will really pick you up and make you feel better. I did that a couple times in dental hygiene school, and that really worked for me. You can't expect to go to school all day long, study all night long, wake up at 2 a.m. and study some more. You can't do it. So really try to manage your time. Listen to your body if you need to take a break. And again, you guys, remember, it's not forever. You can do it. Um, don't expect to get support from your friends or family. Not that you would expect that or it's their fault, 
but nobody understands what you're going through unless another, unless it's another dental hygiene student or me, you know, unless we have graduated, nobody knows what you're going through. Don't get annoyed. Don't get frustrated. If you're trying to talk to your friends and family and they just don't get it, they say, well, take a break or quit if you can't handle it, or maybe don't worry about not getting 80% on that test. You'll get over it. You know, they do not understand what you're going through. So reaching out to friends and family might be difficult. Reach out to me. I am here to help. Reach out to other students. We're all here to help each other. I tutor for the dental hygiene and the dental assisting board exam. I, I have something called the VIP board exam prep academy, where we have our own Facebook group, where we network with each other. We go through the stresses of being a student, having to study, even if you're not studying for the board exam yet, you are still a student. I, I have courses for dental hygiene and dental assisting students still in school where you can kind of learn in different modules at different times. Say you're, you're having a hard time on your pharmacology test. You want to learn that material a different way. I might be able to help you guys. I have full courses for that. My job is to make your job as a student even easier and less stressful. So I hope this video helps kind of bring everything into perspective. The program, the dental hygiene program is extremely hard, but you can do it. If I can do it, I would cry literally every day. I was burnt out. I hated it, but it was completely worth it, you guys. I've been a dental professional now for 17 years, and now I have my own mobile dental hygiene practice. So please reach out to me, you guys, if you need anything. I'm here to help. Good luck and get some sleep, relax, and then study. Okay, guys? Thank you so much. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.